Observation point rock. For the most part, I hated being in the military when I was in it, but now that some years have passed I love the memories of being in the military. Either it is I only remember the good parts definitely not true, or you end up having the feeling of pride, not pride in that you did something honorable or badass but rather pride in that you survived it, you overcame it. This is one of the few absurdly negative memories I have had being in the Marines. My unit's motto was not for self but for country let me tell you, if I knew what I was going to have to witness there, I would not do it for myself, and I also would not have done it for my country. My unit had been deployed to patrol base Hassan Abad. Now, as some of you may know, America was not the first to foray into Afghanistan. There were the Russian before us, the British, even Alexander the Great of Macedonia tried to march through this land. None of them were able to hold on to this serene and quite beautiful landscape, all of them met an eventual defeat. I and three other men were put out at a little bump in the land, a hill of about 65 feet, called Op Rock. Before us the British were there, they warned us of an oppressive atmosphere you know shit buddy it's Afghanistan everything is oppressive. Op Rock was approximately 600 meters from patrol base Hassan Abad, where the rest of my unit was. Our job was to watch for any baddies heading towards the patrol base, engage them, and call in a QRF and possibly air support I do love me some BRRRRTs. Op Rock used to be have a small cave system under it, most likely dug by the Taliban. That is until the US dropped about 2,500 pounds of explosive freedom onto their heads. If there were any men inside who did not die first from having the air sucked out of their lungs, die a second time from having the concussive force turn their organs into jelly, or die a third time by being engulfed in flame, they were buried. So, we get up to our little op rock on the first day, of what was going to be about three months of literal hell. First thing you do when you are going to go static at a location, dig. You dig some holes, maybe a trench, and dig some more to throw up a few HESCO barriers and the like. Well we started digging. And as we were digging we started to find bones. Not one bone, not two bones, tons of bones, there were bones for days. We could have built our hole up out of bones. We found relics too, pottery, tinware, a helmet. The helmet was a Soviet issue from the 70s 80s. These were human bones of Soviet soldiers who never made it home. Our first night, I got third watch, from 12 midnight to 4 in the morning. I had night vision and was just watching out over the landscape. I start to see flashes of light about 400 meters from my position. Looks like incoming small arms fire, but I do not hear any gunfire, nor the distinctive snap of a round going past in close proximity, nor any distinctive tracer shit looks like Star Wars at night, tracer rounds are awesome. They pop up all over the place then disappear, then show up again a few minutes later. I wake up one of my butt buddies and he too notices the flashes. So it was not just my imagination or malfunctioning gear, great. Eventually some other lights showed up in the sky, significantly brighter and seemed to float to the ground, like a really dim flare. Taking off the NVGs all we could see was dark. Unsettling to say the least. This happened a few times, not just to me, but to the other guys on the hill as well. The worst event at Oprock, and probably the most terrifying moment I have experienced in my life happened about three weeks after we posted up. I was sitting another late night watch. It had been a few days since anyone had seen any of the strange lights. However immediately they came on in force. I swear they were muzzle flashes, I saw the dim flares again. It seemed like the entire position was being lit up, at first I ducked for cover, but there was no physical or auditory evidence, just the lights. Then almost as abruptly as it started it ended, and I was back to looking at the land through a fuzzy green lens. A whisper in my ear. Brose or ZA I don't know what it meant. I knew it was Russian, I knew it sounded angry. I startle, I flop on the ground like a fish trying to bring my weapon up to bear and turn to my right, and there is nothing there. Nothing at all. I freak out, wake up my butt buddy, and told him he needed to take watch. He owed me one because I bit the bullet one day and took the egg omelette MRE willingly, just so everyone else could have something significantly less shitty. That day I was a true American hero. It was only when I had started to calm down that I noticed I had pissed myself. A significantly more common occurrence in the military than one would think. Definitely was not the first time I pissed myself in my military career and it was not the last, a few weeks later some trannies, that's what we called our translators, talked to some locals in the area. Apparently there was a small Soviet op here as well during their war in Afghanistan. It had been overrun by the Mujahideen and every single last one of them was slaughtered. The captured were executed, and they left the bodies to lay there. Those poor men were still fighting that war, 